Looks like we're heading into match one. Guys, we'll be turning off the face cams here and be giving you a cast. Let's get into it. All right. RC, Ricks, moving. Here we go. Oh, game one of five. It is best of five. I apologize. I think I said best of three earlier. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Looks like they will all be best of five, so we will go move into no move. Back to move, no move. NMPZ tiebreaker, very exciting. What a way to start, here we are. Looks like the, uh, I will mention for those watching our stream here, we are not controlling the, the pace of things, it's the people in person doing the Spanish stream, so we will just follow along with how, how they run it. But. Someone asked if they have face cams. We do get them. Why the move, no move, and then move again? Uh, because we're playing best of five, so NMPZ is uh, reserved for the tiebreaker only if needed. And we have a Norway round to start off. Um, they both got to information already. Uh, however, I don't think it's information you really can use yet. Yeah, it's it didn't seem like those, those signs were... Uh, Super important. Oh, it does seem the the names are actually reversed, or the face cams are reversed. Yeah, we got <laughs> the face cams both now, and now it's fixed. Ah, it's fixed. We're ready to go. Right. RC might have found some information going into here. The map, yeah. yeah, ten seconds left. Both going into the map. RC seems to have found some more important information than Rix has, but he's given a guess. I didn't get to see how close they were to each other. RC oh, is closer. Yeah, it was a type of round where you tried to move around, get a decent uh, vibe guess in because we didn't have any info and um, Norway is a rather tough country to region guess in. Uh, you have a lot of places that look similar in the north and in the south. So yeah, most definitely. Them just scanning around, looking for something that lines up with the fjord, but RC getting closer there. Yeah, RC getting closer, 400 points down, not terrible as we go into round two here in what seems to be probably in Australia, by the looks of it. This could be some decent points. 1.5 times damage, not too much yet. Mm -hmm. But again, on moving a... around like this, it's quite interesting because you are in Gen 2. It looks like RC just ended up in some Gen 1. You might not be near any big roads or important information, so moving fast might be helpful. Yeah, they are um, like both playing on a different type of strategy. RC is really soaking in that information here, moving slowly, looking at everything, while Rick's fast moving, looking to find a sign probably. Uh, let's see what the right strategy is on this round. Yeah, it looks like they both got to the same road here, which is a, definitely a bigger road. We got some Gen 4 coverage, so hopefully one of them can find some information, make it a little bit exciting. Rick's looking at some signs. They don't look too important though. Time is running out here with 10 seconds left. They both start to make their guesses. We have a town with, starting with A and 30 kilometers. Uh, so RC is again for a town that starts with A. Ooh, just about equidistant, but RC a little it was closer. Albury. Albury it is. RC holding that flawless going into round three. RC does have dual nationality in US and Romania, so he decided to play for US as he has been living in the US recently. Hmm. Read a nice location here, wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Round three, double damage. Uh, in Turkey, and uh, looks like southeast for now. Yeah, let your lotus cook. Um, the trash bins usually hold information um, where RC is trying to move to, however, the Google driver didn't move towards it. Now you see it. Really tell. Um, but yeah, these flat roofs, yeah, RC is going southeast. Uh, you usually see in the southeast, it's also super flat with both two indicators. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's RC on the Syria border block. there, which makes a lot of sense. We got the approval um, from Gelotris. Rick's doing a similar guess, not quite on the border. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be a bit more hilly in Shanolfa, and he got the town there. He, he gets the Day town up 4996. Yeah. That's... I mean, it was a decent region guess from Rick's, though. 
which yes, um, definitely, makes definitely. him not lose too many points. However, still a very good guess from RC there. Yeah, and RC getting that guess in quick. It's really what we love to see from him, just showing off that uh, <laughs> that prowess, like I've mentioned before. Super hype, going into round four, two and a half times damage now. RC holding flawless. Rick still have a decent bit of health, though. Definitely not out of this by any means. Yeah, we are in urban Europe. Yeah, some urban Europe for sure. The Looks strategy like is again. Rick is there. moving rather quickly. Um, and RC again is like soaking in every panel, looking for all the information around him. Yeah, trying to get everything he can. We did see a dot HR there, which is a indicator for Croatia. So we should be in Croatia here. Country codes like that can be quite helpful. Um, especially when you're starting off the game. Rix does see some town names. He knows the country. He's gonna try and find them if he can. Looks like he's found one, and he's locking it in quick. RC just found the same exact sign, though, so they should both be quite close. Okay, RC is still moving to find another sign with uh, more valuable information because these are just small towns. However, Rix comes back Rick with getting super close with the first 5k of the tournament in the fourth round. Wow, what an exciting Just way to start. Shows how competitive these tournaments are. Yeah, 5k right off the bat. The 5k hype in the chat, love to see it. That is lovely. Going into round five, three times damage. RC was still and pretty close though, back. so yeah, not too much damage. Go ahead, Jalotris, walk us through it. Yeah, I mean, uh, Gen 4 Winter Coverage looks rather like new Winter Coverage. So I would assume this could be either Elstrom or Van, one of the two cities. Yeah, we will be looking at another turkey around here. RC sees some information there on the trash. Yeah, and bin. we saw a sign with Pass in there, which is uh, in Elstrom, east of it. Oh, RC found it, okay. RC is locked in. Rick's also very nearby. Yeah. So we shouldn't see too much points here. The point he differential should be small. Yeah, he didn't bother like 5k'ing it. He saw it and uh, put on the pressure, but with keeping his cool, also finding it yeah, funny with it the extra that. seconds there yeah. to guess. Finding it in that 15 oh. seconds. Getting Next it a points. little bit closer, but really not much. It's good for the mental to, uh, to get a little closer there. Especially after RC guess first. Six. Six. Six in the chat. Round yeah, six, three damage. and a half times damage. We're in, the players are moving. Mm -hmm. Around in Argentina, I think. Um, yeah, I see immediately looking at the copyright. Oh, Max. Um, wait, it is Max, never mind. No worries. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Max and What's then that? said uh, Orange, and I was like, oh. oh it should yeah, be... I think we had an octagonal pole there. Yeah, yeah. Should Just be Mexico thought here. Was an played on the second panel. I mean, yeah, now we have yeah. a lot of confirmation. Got the auto sign, got the hexagonal poles. So, all the way back in about 2020, 2021, Ars used to be known as the best Latin American player in the game, and that was years ago, and he has only built upon that knowledge, so it'll be interesting to see him on these Latin American rounds like this. They both are in mechs, they're both pretty far north, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the flatness, this architecture north makes a lot of sense. <sighs> and RC showing what I was talking about, that is almost 3k damage given to Rix. As we go uh, into round seven. Was a pure region guess, wasn't it? I didn't I think see so. him looking at any information. Yeah, I did not see RCC any particular signs or information. It just seemed to be pure skill there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Really impressive. Round seven. Looks like the casters in Endor are pointing out some info. Heading us into the into the round. Mm-hmm. So possibly, what are we thinking here, Delatrice of Peru? Yeah, it should be Peru. We have the Tuk Tuks, we have the Poles, we have the Black Google Car, everything. Pointing us to Peru, we should be rather inland, given the flatness, the greenness. Yeah, um, it definitely makes a lot of sense oh. here. 
However, yeah, the inland coverages like are pretty far away from each other, so you you usually have to commit to one place in the country. Yeah, this is going to be another round. We might see RC make a pretty good region guess here, just based off the vibe and what he knows about the coverage in the country and things like that. Ricks, though, I did not get to see exactly where he zoomed into. But he's, he's in Kukalipa. Yeah, um, makes sense. Oh, he's considering Akitos, which could make sense. It's pretty flat. Oh, RC going Akitos as well. This does make quite a lot of sense. Very flat, Amazonian big looking. River along the road. Oh, but Rick seems to be staying. These are pretty different guesses. They are not Rick's sure. Correct. Okay, wow. With four times damage. That's a lot of damage. damage. That's that a lot of damage. Rick's to the lead going into round eight. RC does not look too happy about that. Yeah, that's yes. exactly what I said. Uh, you have to commit to one place in Peru. It's not something you really can hedge. There are just a couple cities covered in the Amazonas. Um, yeah. You really have to go for one, and Rix was right there. Rix got it. Rix ended up knowing it better. Round eight, four and a half times damage now. We're getting to the point where any round here could be game very easily. We are looking Let's at... We are in Indonesia yeah. with these uh, ballads. Which are commonly found in Sulawesi, Central Sulawesi, North Sulawesi. Somewhere Definitely. There. This this will probably be game depending. Oh, but it does seem like RC has found some information. You might have found a Cabo Pot in there. And I know for a fact he has studied them quite well. I actually remember in the 2023 GeoGuessr World Cup being backstage with him. In between his matches, he was on his phone studying Cabo Potten. So the man is locked in on his Cabo Pot, and let's see if he can get it here. They are both yeah, in Sulawesi. Morovali, and they both are in Morovali. Uh, Cabo Pot, and however, it's a rather big Cabo Pot, and so we see different guesses there, but RC. that's the right bridge for RC. Getting the 5k, getting it up there. Yeah. Wow, this match really went back and forth. Um, that was a heater of a game, definitely back yeah. and forth. RC looks relieved, but still a little stressed with how close that was. I think he probably assumed he would take his moving game in a little more stride than that, but he does take it there, getting the 5k to end it out. We did have two 5k's in that game, which is quite exciting in our very first match of the day. Yeah, considering the fact that they usually get pretty quick, um, having two 5k's is really impressive, and um, yeah, RC kept his cool after Riggs got the pressure on him on the Peru round. And keeping us cool made him just win the game there. Definitely. Very cool to see. It'll be cool to see them go into no move here as they're both very good at no move. But um, they're just collecting themselves as they get ready to start off that match. Go over to game to no move. So our players here will have one 360 panorama to make their guesses. They will not be able to move up and down the road as they could in the match before. This is a, a lot of pros favorite game mode actually. So I think no move is a real test of true pro GeoGuessr skill and really is where players get to show you know what they're really good at because when you get to move even if you're not sure in the country right away you'll you'll move around you'll find some information you'll learn some things that you might have not got so to be able to do that without moving obviously is very impressive so both players in here exactly um we have no fronts here um looks rather northern uh with the planes uh, yeah but with no fronts that's kind of, okay well, one car has a front plate does it because i thought like around the dakotas would make sense you know the dakotas you usually would get license plates on the fronts of the cars um yeah they are both in north dakota uh, by the looks of it though mm -hmm. but it, it yeah, looks they, like it they trust yeah they like double check the license plate there uh, yeah. but decided to ignore it for a good fact because it was North Dakota anyway. Yeah, good guesses. Rick's looking down at his hands locked in, trying to stay calm. This is a, this is a very high pressure environment to be in right now. They are only in the first match of the day and you have to win the entire tournament to get to the GeoGuessr World Cup in September. So already stress right out the gate. 
as we head into round two here on the no move, we have a Kazakhstan. Yeah, and this road, both should know it's the M36 in Kazakhstan or along the lake. Uh, really distinct coverage for the country. Yeah, realistically yeah. here, Kazakhstan only had got coverage relatively recently, and the coverage is uh, not super in-depth across the whole country, as a lot of the country is desert and things like that, so it's only certain roads covered. I would venture to say every player here has learned every road that could have coverage. As we can see, the two are both basically next to each other here, but RC yeah. on it. It's a matter of lining it up correctly, getting the right span, and RC did it successfully here. Yeah, definitely. Not too much points being taken down here for Ricks, but it's going into round three still very, very close. Mm -hmm. And we are in Panama, what it seems like. Ah, uh, yes, a lovely old Panama round. Very exciting. Again, coverage here is a little sparse, so maybe they know it, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not one of the easy countries to reach, I guess I would say. Um, yeah. It's dry, hilly, I would usually tend to more go like in the west of the country or south. Uh, especially with this hilliness. Um, yeah, definitely yeah. makes sense. Single yellow. Are we actually in Panama though? I think so. Do we have one Kenya guess? Oh, we have a Kenya guess. Oh, wow. Wait, we have a Panama and a uh, Kenya right now. Kenya is possible? It does make sense. I don't see the... I, oh, I think Panama... Well. I think this is... Well, this is this is game right here. Two times damage. Yeah, it was Kenya. Kenya. Okay, oh, the wow. toss-up was <laughs> valid there. I didn't think about the new Kenya yeah, coverage. Yeah, the new yeah. Kenya coverage. Like something was off. RC not remembering yeah. Panama makes I think possible sense. RC did but... the same thing as me, just autopiloting and then thinking where it could be in the country, yeah. rather than thinking which country it is first. Um, Definitely the autopilot. Yeah, you see a uh, yeah, you see that uh, type of car blur, and you see that single yellow straight line. Very common for Panama there, but also there's new coverage in Kenya. I believe the car must have been driving left. Ricks finds it. RC does not. We go into game three here. It is now one to one for games. We are back to moving in our best of five. Whoever wins this will be up and will be going into the next no move game in quite a great position. So this is not when you want to lose. I decided to see this one. We are back in Kazakhstan, and with this coverage, we should be in the east, um, where you get tall coverage. As I would assume, not too many points on this one, but it's round one anyway. Yeah, round one. They will be able to move if they want to. So we see RC making some movements here, but you know, RC making a blunder like that to end that last game is not going to be great for the mental. But knowing him, I know he will regain and. We'll be ready to go. Mm -hmm. We're actually in Tama now. Um, I don't know about the East Road anymore, I would say. Yeah. They you definitely also see it in Central North. Um, I do see a town guest here from Rick's. He's making a, a commitment, I think. But uh, RC's still trying to find whatever information he can, taking advantage of that one minute he has to look around. We have a Karaganda long from RC. He didn't lock it in yet, though. But time's about to run out. And it was in fact Karaganda. Getting the town correct, a great way yeah, to like start round one. One of these towns where you also get fall coverage in Karaganda, that is not... Um, I wonder if he used that to get the city correct. Yeah, definitely possible here. As we move in around two, we do have some signs and language. Mm -hmm. And uh, our casters seem to be moving a little bit. Let's 
see what the strategy is here. I mean, we are in Japan. In Japan, you usually want to find uh, poles because they can give you the region if you've learned them. Yeah, most definitely, they're going to be looking uh, for some, some poles. Trying to find moving some Moving Japan around, you usually get to the right region pretty quick. Yeah, I think uh, with the moving, it's definitely possible. You also definitely want to find some highway signs. Those can be very helpful in Japan, as uh, they do give quite a bit of information. They will give you some smaller number highway signs, which will be bigger, and then some uh, three-digit highway signs, which will be smaller. But you can find those. They can definitely help you narrow things down. I don't think anybody happened to see them yet. We do see them looking at some poles. They get some plates. We should see some correct areas of Japan, hopefully. We have a Kansai attachment, so it should be around Osaka. <laughs> yeah. was in Kansai, but pretty far west. Um. Yeah, I see a little closer. But uh, only taking about 150 damage there down to Rix, but RC is keeping his flawless going into round three. Ooh, got a pretty rural location here around three, but the players will be forest. able to move. Probably try to get out of the forest yeah. as quick as possible. And they're off. Realistically here, it makes a lot of sense for this to be Scandinavian, probably Sweden, something like that. Germany? Oh, Germany. I don't know okay. if I would have guessed Germany in that forest. I can yeah, find, when, when, <laughs> from the forest, it does not look like it. But yeah, yeah as we get out here and we get more signs Germany. and things like that, it is Germany. Possibly far north then. Could also be um, how like I had a north white because yeah the first set, but it's way too mountainous. The end True, of the yeah. So it would have to be pretty so south. The players are going there. Yeah. I would have been so curious to see where these players went without moving. I mean, we had mountains east. Yeah, that makes sense at the France border. But like southwest of Stuttgart, you have this mountain range to your east. Whereas yeah. um, in Munich. Or in Bavaria, you sh they should more be in the south, usually. Mountain. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. RC really being dominant in this game after that blunder to have him lose the move game before it. He had to lock in, sit up in the chair, and say, okay, I gotta be more focused than this. I gotta show my prowess. I gotta do my thing. This swooping game, he is showing that. Get to round four of the day. Round uh, four. Of this game. <laughs> yeah. Round four of the game. They're both just zooming, doing the yeah, fast they have move. Fast moving. I don't know if they will get to anything. It's a pretty straight road. Um, yeah, information can be there. hard here in Kenya. Like. Yeah. Yo, it's Panama again, guys. <laughs> I mean, this time I hope he'll pick it no, up. He must, he must know. Yeah. He won't make it another we had some blunder signs. like that. We had English on it. Um, see, this a one. Bit more information to work with here, but definitely. However, I didn't see a place name yet. Yeah, no place names. And also, what's interesting about Kenya is a lot of uh, names you might see on signs and things aren't actually even marked on the map, so. See, just some Nairobi guesses here. Playing it safe. I'm gonna guess this, yeah. 13. 13. Round 5. Three times damage here. 5 it is, and we are in the Philippines? It seems to be Philippines. We have a concrete road here. We have English here on the signs. A very tropical look. All very typical of the Philippines. Let's see what these players can find here. Yeah, you usually try to find a province name in the Philippines, usually. Yeah, um, usually the most important. written on a lot of signs. Uh, you can also use the trikes to region guess. What RC is doing right here, he's taking out the trike and already going into the map. Seems 
like you recognize the region where yeah. these strikes are used. Recognize it just off of that, Rix didn't see Ope, but now he sees the trike as well. Does he recognize? It doesn't seem he does. Opening the map, guessing different. He seems a little nervous. Gets a guess in though. Oh, and neither of them have it exactly. In the middle of them. That's very lucky for Rix there. RC could have been right on it. He seemed confident, but it was a bit off. Yeah, Philippines is definitely a country where you can pick up or lose a lot of points. Uh, it's really hard to reach and guess. Yeah, most, most definitely. Of the times. That actually ended up going well for both of them, just to kind of keep it even. Though, RC still holding the flawless in round six here. Three and a half times damage now. It is reaching a point where anyone could actually take it considering the damage multiplier. But we are in a Korea. We have a beautiful, beautiful location. It's Check the beautiful. fall coverage. Rick says, I don't care. I am insta-guessing. I can't read Korean. Let's just guess. They're both pretty close. RC mm -hmm. a little farther off. Some of guesses again. But Rick's We are getting closer it. and closer to the round limit of 10 rounds. Um, going over to round 7 now after this. Yeah, Rick's taking his first round win there off of a pretty fast guess. Maybe a little good for the mental, but RC's still holding with quite a lot of health. Moving into round 7. Four times damage, things are seriously, seriously heating up. Will the multis play a role here and let Rix have a comeback, or is RC going to continue to dominate? Yeah, another country that shouldn't decide the game. We are in Senegal. Sandy roads are very common to urban locations. Um, we have some... Ooh, we have a thief's guess here, there. quick. From Rix. Rix mm -hmm. has opted to switch strategies here to quite a fast guessing one on this moving, he's realizing I don't want RC to find information, I want to just send it in there. Get things over with. Looks like it is Kowlak. That seems close. like RC was considering it, uh, judging by his reaction to yeah. that, but yeah, it can be really difficult to guess urban Senegal. Oh, and definitely, as definitely. I said, not much happening there. Head over to round eight. Um, we have some old French plates here. Yellow ones. Yeah, should just be get France. Get a train car, get a Renault car, both French brands. Or basically, this seems pretty like Oops. northwest. Yeah. Pretty northwest to Some me, car. that kind of vibe, but we'll see. Yeah, I could agree. Northwest. Yeah, northwest, probably like Brittany. With the black roofs, white buildings, very common over there. These trees too just feel very, uh, very coastal. So, yeah. Yeah, these buildings look very Britain now. So we should indeed be in the northwest here. See if both players pick that up, and maybe get even more information to get even closer. And we have a sign for Rick. Um, oh, that's helpful. That's very helpful for him. He's happy with that. He could recognize it was Brittany. So now if he can find those town names, which seems he has found at least one. RC not finding the same piece of information, but going in a similar-ish area, but he seems to be a bit off with the multis. Four and a half times damage. This could be pretty big points, especially if Rix is on a 5k. Committing this to the hatch, or does he think it should be the translates? Very fun off. It yeah, was... RC was going pretty far south in Brittany, uh, but he can afford to do that. He's still on a lot of health. Definitely, but Rix... Taking a decent bit of damage there. Yeah, kind of getting back to the game. Um, a lot of things that can happen, and we are in Thailand. Yeah, round nine here with five times damage now. Getting into round nine is uh, is intense for both players, even if you have the lead. But uh, again, they are moving, so they should find some information. I'm excited to see RC playing out this round because I know RC was studying Thailand. Um, mm. let's see if there's anything he can use here. Yeah. We'll check it out. Both players move into the bigger road quick. RC, they seem to be both moving the same direction here, so you might find similar information. RC moving a bit slower though. Oh, switching to fast move. 
Mm -hmm. They tra try to get out of town probably to find a more valuable sign. Yeah. They both have the same information bar. I don't think uh, either of our players read Thai though, if I'm not mistaken, so. I am not too sure. Um, an area code there though. far east in the country or with that wrong and it is yeah pretty close in the guesses. East. and yeah it's really the country decides what's happening next i mean um it's the last round now round 10 of 10 yeah and the player with more health remaining after the guests will win um so therefore i would say rick still has a good chance to win here yeah he honestly does considering five and a half times damage and the health really has evened up here, so it's possible for either, but if RC gets closer at all, he will win our second moving game. That is correct. Looks like we're at, have a Can US here. In the US Mato Bowl. Oh, it's saying Jacksonville. Oh, it is. That's some information. It is Jacksonville, though. We could yeah, RC looks a little confused here as he looks around, but... It seems like he has a region guess, or is thinking it should be Texas. Okay, he went to Jacksonville now. Yeah, he does make a guess with a little bit of a smile on his face, though. He seems a little yeah, nervous, he, I but... I think he couldn't uh, oh. immediately find Jacksonville. <gasps> okay, we have... Jacksonville, Florida! Yeah, it was the wrong Jacksonville. Rick goes That's Jacksonville, gonna be game. Florida, and oh, RC takes it. GGs. GGs. Yeah, he immediately knew one. it's Texas and was looking for the right Jacksonville. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, that's unlucky. Yeah, the US is known to have the same town names in like literally every state. Yeah. It can trick you sometimes. Definitely, yeah. definitely can trick you. Kind of funny. RC is one of the best. US players, so, you know, getting it, recognizing it. I think things like that can happen, though. You get you get that information last second, and it, you panic, and just the first one you think of, or maybe even the first one you see on the map is just where you guess. So, but RC taking that time, got the dub, going into our fourth round here, back to no moving. RC has two wins, Rix has one. If RC wins this game, he will win and move on to the semifinals. If Rix wins this game, we will go to NMPZ. Yeah, this can be a decider of a game. Uh, however, it's no move, um, so Rix should be happy about that, his preferred mode to play. Um, see how both players will end up after this match. Yeah, round one. RC sitting up, ready to go. As we see pro possibly an Indo by the looks of it, I would yeah. guess. Mm. Yeah, RC is both Romanian and American. He's got dual citizenship. For those wondering in chat. Yeah, we have Christianity here in this region. That's something you can use to region guess inside Indonesia. However, I don't really see um, more to use here. Like usually you look for poles or stuff like that. Yeah, there's um, really not much. We do see an East Cali guess here from RC. Locking it oh, in. Those are two very... Sumatra. Yeah, they are very far away from each other. I mean, it's round one. Wow. Ooh, RC getting super close. RC getting um, crazy close. If we had... Yeah. If this was round three, we would... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> the game would be over. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is yeah. A, I, that I is a see, crazy uh, round. RC is annoyed. This is round one. Rix is happy this was round one. Um... And we got the Google uh -oh. driver. 
making some selfies here? <laughs> some selfies? Some selfies going on around too. <laughs> Why not? Oh wait, it's a trekker even. Yeah, it's a um, trekker. Man is a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know how happy the players will be about this. But, uh, sure. I mean, it's gonna be La Paz, I don't think yeah, there's yeah, definitely any still. town in the world that looks similar to this. Uh, they yeah, look at, our see, look at our C's reaction, the, the head comes <laughs> back, <laughs> but uh, he recognizes it. Wait, is it oh, even La Paz? I'm not Alina. sure, because we have big buildings. I don't think these big buildings would fit in La Paz. Yeah, RC yeah, opted Lima to Lima right sense, away. Yeah, yeah, so yeah I didn't see the big industrial buildings down in the city that just happened there. Yeah. Yeah, both players on it. Nothing crazy. Going into round three. Yep. RC known to recognize city skylines. He has a map yes. created uh, where you have to guess based on city skylines. He um, does. Say that's one of his strengths and we are back in Kazakhstan. Winter coverage should put us in the south. If it is, yeah, it should be winter coverage, yeah. Um, so yeah. Could see just, uh, I don't know, Almaty maybe. Could definitely make sense. It's like a bigger city. Do we have any mountains to spot here? Hard to tell. But it seems I don't to... see them because in Almaty you should see mountains. Uh, they yeah. are pretty close. To... Rick's still going there. It looks like RC as well going there. Both seem to be going Almaty. Yeah, I think RC is cons like he knows something is wrong because he doesn't see mountains. Therefore, he goes is considering more east because we don't see these mountains. But it could also just be foggy weather. It could be hidden behind buildings, trees. Um, so it's still a good hedge to just stay in Almaty and get close anyway. Definitely. Yeah, Rick's going a bit more outside. Makes sense. Yeah, definitely understandable. Wow. And it was winter coverage in Astana. Wow. Something was wrong there. Something, Something was, was wrong off. there. Something was off. Yeah, the season, the coverage made sense for Almaty, but we didn't see any mountains, which, yeah. Yeah, wow. It's a bit wrong for Almaty. Can happen, though. Um, that is unlucky. Yeah, I mean, both players probably really wish they, they got that there, but you know, you see yeah. those similar guesses very common among pros where the thought processes is, is the same and they both will guess somewhere incorrectly together. Round four here. Pretty beautiful location. I think we are in. Hmm. These buildings, we have some stone buildings. This is a very beautiful location. Yeah. Beauty of Street View vibe. I'm not too sure the posts look Bulgarian, but the buildings look so weird. RC yeah. is in Bulgaria, in fact. Both are. are both so. in Bulg. Yeah. RC opted to go more south. A bit weird, but... Power pole down there makes a lot of sense. For Bulgaria, oh, and he picked up that it is in the southern part of the country. Yeah, that Giving brings Rick's down to points. 2k. In the scheme of that round, not massive, but bringing Rick's down to 2k when RC's practically at full health is uh, not a great position to be in, especially considering if RC wins this match here, he will win the entire thing and move on to the semis. Yeah, and we are on 3x damage now. Three times damage. Can already decide some games here, um, especially in big countries or if you are not sure about the country. Definitely. We have a silver car here by the yeah. looks of it. I believe should be in Bhutan. Yeah. Rick's opting to go a little west, but a small country. We shouldn't see too many points, even with the three times damage. Both players should recognize this. I would say RC laughing at a, a little thing there. Yeah, I can't really reach and guess this one at all. I don't have a vibe. Um, yeah. 
Bhutan can be quite difficult to reach. Usually, yes. sunny coverage is more in the east. <laughs> yeah. Works every time, surely. Surely, um, surely. Real meta. We don't have it here, so if you ignore the east and go more to the west. Yeah, pretty close. But Arcee holds his lead. Mm -hmm. Conan's around six. Some random small village in the mountains. Really hard to get that one. That most definitely. But Bhutan had so, has some pretty distinct architecture. We could see one of those kind of tan buildings in the back was a very, very unique and typical Bhutanese architecture. Yeah, I would agree. It's easy to get the country, hard to reading as it. Most definitely. Round six, three and a half times damage. It seems to be possibly a Mexico, I would assume, off a quick, yes, I would quick look. Agree. Do have some donkeys by the looks of it. So we've got this solid yellow line here. Very common in Central America. This is a difficult location to read and guess in my book. I Yeah, Rick's opting for Guerrero I'm like, here. I don't know if I yeah, would have gone there. I don't know how far north we are here. I think it's going to be a little more north than Guerrero, but we will see. Hmm. It's possible for Guerrero. Rix decides to lock it in quick, putting some pressure on RC. RC also going Guerrero, but he's considering farther north. Yep, and it, it was, was much north. farther north. Yeah, you have a lot of modern <laughs> arts in Mexico that look like this uh, for like around Guerrero. I really yeah. couldn't decide which one it is here. Neither could they. Um, Neither could they. It seemed a little more north. But, but I think they are both happy to be in the same region and surviving. We have yeah. for a 750. Um, Round 7, Chile. Chile. Northern Chile Chile here. Continue. We should be in a Chilean national park here with these all yellow lines. Very mm -hmm. good to know, otherwise Chile is all white lines. But RC going up north makes a lot of sense. He's trying to gonna try and find a road that lines up, presumably. Same with Ricks, they're both doing it. RC in a great position here with the amount of health he has, but we'll see. A scanning fest here. Um but Chile definitely also a type of country where you sometimes think it smacks north it, and it ends up in the middle somewhere. Um, let's see. They both agree on the north though. And I would also not be surprised if this road doesn't show up. Yeah. Um, because sometimes you have unlabeled roads which have signs with the road. Um, RC closer still. Yeah, RC getting closer. It was labeled, but a pretty small road. Uh, wow. To find that one. That pretty tricks down. He could have picked up the game there. Um, even though Rix was pretty close, so. Latitude wise in the country. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is crazy. Rix is on his last leg. 199 health, round 8, 4.5 times damage. Are we going to see a multi merchant come from Rix? The game it is not over happen. for him considering these multipliers, but it seems to be pretty certain RC will pull it through considering this health differential, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both check out the antenna, which can help reaching this inside the country. Um, not just a hard country to reach and guess, it's also getting even harder when you're urban. Um, in Russia, let's see. Yeah. I see locking it pretty quick, um, considering how hard this round is. Definitely. Going northeast of Moscow here. They're kind of close to each other, but RC massive. Russia's very massive, it so... doesn't end up in the middle, then it's gonna be game. And that it is, is yeah. the game. RC... Closer. Taking the dub of the match, moving on to the semifinals. We do have to say goodbye to Rix, sadly, but he played so well. Seriously.
Yeah, we had amazing games. Like it wasn't close at all, as we predicted. Um, it's 